It is freezing out there. Uh, so, welcome back to the channel, guys. As I said in the last video, we were starting to work on the turbo kit for the Fox body, but just want to throw this in here. Um, we did get all the camo hats in. We still have some of the flat bills left. Um, these camo hats are super, super nice. And then we have a lot of the trophies over time slip shirts. Been starting to ship a bunch of those. Then we have some of the other shirts left. And then we have a couple hoodies of the Fukura to find out. And I think I have like one black hoodie. I don't even know what size that is, but let's see. I think it's like a medium. As I sit here and struggle for 20 minutes. It is uh Oh, a large. Got one large. So, got a little bit of merch left if you guys want to get entered to win your own custom turbo kit. out here's the first 10 R we built so he's making about close to a thousand horsepower for about I don't know six months so pretty interested to see which clutches went out pretty sure we already know but uh, this is one that we built and uh, he races it a ton so this time we're doing things a little bit different um, so we'll see you tomorrow when we take it apart Alright guys, so, been uh, grinding away in the shop. Joe's got the last uh, primary done on the driver's side header and I was really keen on making the headers uh, symmetrical. So, that's what he's been working on. I know it's been driving him crazy, but that's how I wanted him and Joe, that's what he does. He produces when you ask for something. Um, so, we've got the fourth one in there. It has to drop pretty low because the steering shaft comes through there um, Joe's not super happy with how that one came out so I think we're gonna try and raise it just a little bit as you can see ah it's hard to see but ah, there you go you can see it's on the left side it drops a little bit lower but essentially you know the steering shafts there we got to work with what we got so I think we're gonna raise that side just a little bit to make it a little bit a little bit higher and look a little bit better it's more of an aesthetics thing at this point um, no one's ever gonna see these, but me and Joe are being kind of picky with the car uh, Just because that's where we're at with it. So and then he's got the three primaries on that one And he's you know once he builds the driver's side the fourth one then he'll come over and uh, Mimic it on this side essentially make it symmetrical. So um, That's what we've been working on trying to finish the headers because that's kind of like the part that takes the longest and then uh, I actually ordered the rest of the hot side stuff I needed to finish it and it got lost in Dallas so I had to reorder it so hopefully it'll be here this week because I really want to get the hot side knocked out and then I've got the flange to finish the charge pipe and then once all that stuff's mounted then we can actually do the down pipe and then the turbo kit's done and it's really honestly not that much work it's the headers that take the longest everything else goes pretty quickly um, and then so pretty much after the turbo kit I did get a fuel cell, but they're, um, I think they're borrowing it for a mock-up over there. But pretty much five gallon fuel cell is gonna sit right here. We're gonna build the cage for it. And then we're also going to mount the alt alternator over here. So the Billet Pro Shop uh, front motor plates don't work with a stock alternator. However, somebody does make one. I think it's Fat House Fab makes one. But the way the headers are and the way that the steering shaft is, I don't think it would have worked with a stock alternator. 
Um, it may have, but we chose to go with Billet Pro Shop. We love their stuff. So we're actually going to reverse mount the alternator, make our own brackets. So I also have that coming, so we can make that. Um, so I have the fuel cell mounted, the alternator mounted, the turbo kit finished, and then I'm trying to think. There might be like one or two small things, and then pretty much then we can pull it all apart, get everything coated how we want it, paint the engine bay, and then we can start, you know, final assembly. Um, hopefully the motor's gonna be in within the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, I know Will's working super hard on it, he's super busy. I've been ordering a bunch of shit from him, so, and everybody's been keeping him busy. But uh, hopefully that'll be in within the next few weeks, and then we can wire the car and really get this thing going and plumbed. Um, there's a lot of work left, trust me, but we're making some pretty decent progress. Um, I got the new Lions Motorsports uh, new brake setup in there. I just got to fix the lines because it's already got line lock in there. Um, I just got to make pretty much cut these lines and re flare them. And then I took off this front panel and I have a replacement panel for that one and the top one. And then, so we'll put that one on, give it all riveted. Um, we've got a plate that covers those holes, get that riveted, and then everything can get painted. And then I think Joe said we're gonna use these existing holes actually, and uh, that's where the bulkheads for the whole engine harness and everything will come through for the wiring. Um, yeah, so we're trying to, uh, yeah, here's all the panels that go up front that are getting replaced. So we've got all new ones of those. Oh, there's the fuel cell. So it's just a generic black uh, jazz racing fuel cell. It's good for methanol. And so yeah, we're just gonna mount that guy right here. And I got a nice billet lid for it. I don't know where the heck it went. I got so many damn parts over here. Oh, there it is. So we got a nice little billet lid for it. So that's the fuel cell. Let me just show you guys real quick. So essentially, fuel cell is gonna sit uh, somewhere over here, somewhere like that. So we gotta get that mounted and then, oh, the last thing we gotta get mounted is the small radiator, the small radiator that we're gonna do. So we are gonna do a small radiator because we gotta be able to make cruises, we wanna be able to drive the car to the lanes, that's why we're doing an alternator. Real streetcar shit going on here. So that's like the last, that's the only thing I haven't ordered for the front, so Joe and I are kinda going back and forth on some sizes and stuff, but there will be a small radiator with fans in the front so we can make small cruises and drive the car to the lanes because it's a street car, you know what I'm saying? So we're making some good progress. Like I said, at the same time, we're trying to balance all the other stuff we got going on. Um, last night, we got the trans pulled onto Sean's and the new trans kit just came in for it. So we're gonna rebuild that. Um, and then we have an, a full engine assembly going on over there. It's an engine we've actually had for a while. We've just been waiting on parts for the customer um, and some other stuff that he was waiting on. So probably show you guys that when we actually do final assembly. But we do long block assembly here and we lock cams all the time here. So probably show you guys that one when we get to it. And uh, waiting on some brakes for Tashans. And uh, check out this cool mobile cart they put the bender on. This thing is pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty damn sturdy. So they wanted to mount the bender somewhere over there, but obviously it was going to be in the way. So mount it over here. Um, let me show you the F-150. We started putting it back together. Um, we got the trans brake buttons. Got the trans brake button. Got the bump mounted. And then uh, we decided to put all of his electronics here so it's easily accessible. This is just the cable for the watt box that comes out. Um, but got the boost leash. 10R stager so you can adjust the bump and then the watt box is right behind us so you can just plug in his laptop and pretty much adjust everything from there. So everything on the inside, what's up Brady? What's up, everything on the inside put back together and then we just gotta make some new flanges for the turbos going on. So we're making some progress. Like I said we got his Tashan's converter out. Trans is over here. We're gonna tear it apart tomorrow because all the new stuff for it came in today. So and get that beast torn apart. And then this one, we were doing a 15 inch conversion on. So we're just waiting for the calipers to show up, which they did. And then I already mounted his wheels and tires yesterday. These are 15 by 11s actually. And then this is a 315. This thing is massive. So for that big wide body. And like I said, I knew we were gonna redo that pipe. So. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but you can see 
that fourth one is a lot higher so it's a lot more level the third and fourth are a lot more level on the bottom so he was driving Joe nuts so fix that that one's tacked up Joe's just got to match the other side and then they can finally be fully welded Well guys, it's uh, Christmas Eve and uh, we're going to work at the shop. Of course, gotta get some stuff done. But hopefully y'all have great holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody, and I'll probably have a video before the new year. But we're making some headway on the car right now. Um, we kind of backtracked a little bit last night. So I got a fuel cell and that's what we were kind of working on last night. We are trying to mount the fuel cell and with the car being on M1, but also doing quarter mile stuff and trying to drive the car to the lanes and back from the lanes, because that's some of the street car rules for TX2K and FL2K. Um, God, that's annoying. Damn cup was vibrating in there. Uh, so that's that's part of the street car rules. So trying to make sure that we have enough of a fuel cell uh, for enough fuel to make that happen. And M1 uses a ton of fuel, especially when we plan to push, you know, 23 to 24, 2500 wheel horsepower. That thing's gonna use a ton of fuel down the track. Um, methanol, it just uses so much damn fuel. So, uh, we had a little discrepancy trying to decide, you know, cause we want the tank in the front. We're trying to get a bunch of the weight off the rear. Uh, we're trying to put the tank in the front, but with the size and the space limitations, we can only fit five, six gallon fuel cell up front. And even then there's not that much room um, cause we still gotta put a radiator, which we're gonna put a really small radiator, but we do have to have a radiator up there to run uh, water to the heads and water to the block cause it's still a wet block. Um, so there's, you know, there's only so much room you can work with when you're trying to do streetcar stuff. So Joe's previous car, the Black Fox, that one had a massive radiator, but it was in the back of the car. It had a, a eight gallon fuel cells in the back of the car. And uh, we're trying to keep this car as light as possible, and we don't want all that weight on the rear, actually, which sounds weird. Like, you know, typically y'all would think, oh, you want weight over the rear for the traction, but no, this this car's not gonna have traction issues. It's gonna have wheelie issues. So we're gonna try and, and it's a radial car, so you wanna push more of the weight up front, actually. So we're trying to get the weight bias up front, try and keep it all off the rear. And so that's pretty much where we're at right now, but I want to close out this video. Wish you guys Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have good holidays, and, uh, We'll see you after Christmas, but we got a ton of work to do at the shop, and uh, that's probably Joe blowing up my phone because he's I'm late to the shop probably. He's probably not even there, but he, you know, he just trolls. He trolls me so much. That's okay. So don't forget, we're still doing the Turbo Kit giveaway. It ends January 31st, so any purchase you make will get you entered for a free Turbo Kit. We'll see you guys on the next one.